everybody, welcome back to Scrap Fab. Today, we are starting something that we've kind of already done before. Um, if you can't tell, I've decided we're gonna put the flathead in the M. Um, not 100% on how this is gonna go. Um, I think I'm gonna be um, challenged when it comes to um, adapting um, output shafts and input shafts, but I think I'll be able to figure it out like I did before. Um, obviously, I love having the Honda swap in there. Um, it was definitely a challenge before, but I think I wanna try this flathead. If it doesn't work out and I'm not happy with it, of course we can go back, so that's what we're gonna do. So today, we're gonna start tearing into the farm all, get everything out, and then we will see what the flathead looks like sitting in the frame. Let's get after it. Okay, so uh, first thing we gotta do, obviously get sheet metal off. Um, since this is coming off as a whole, it's really not gonna be too bad to take apart. So we'll just pop the base plate off, pop the transmission brackets off and everything will just pull out of the way. Um, so really the conversion that way is not difficult since it's already been converted once. Um, so we'll go ahead get all this torn off. And um, the main thing I'm gonna focus on first is going to be adapting the transmission because if I can't do that, um, you know, I'm not able to do any of it. So we'll see what we can do here. Uh, let's get tearing it down. tore out we're back to the uh, stock input shaft and after the use it's been through you can't even tell that we had our adapter on there so that's good there's no wear strange markings or anything so still good there um, here is our old adapter again if you're new to the channel this is the original centerpiece out of the clutch a factory clutch and then adapted, um, this is just a, like an eighth inch wall steel tube. And then this is a center section from um, like any tractor supply or something like that um, for pulleys. And I just press fitted it in here and then tack welded it. So this is our adapter. And over here, over here is our trans so this new style trans for the flathead um already has a yoke on the back so i either have to pull this yoke off and see what size the output is and then make a new adapter or i have to make 
uh, find this shaft and weld into here. Um, obviously to save space, it would make more sense to pull this yoke off. So that's probably what I'll do. And we'll see what we're working with on the back of the trans. All right, so with this yoke off, um, you can see it's just a through and through standard size, it looks like, for these Fords. At least I think these are the same. Let's flip it and see. Maybe this is smaller. No, nah, it's the same. Okay. So it's the same on both sides. Um, honestly, I would like to use this, so I've got to either find a, uh, you know, the actual shaft from one of these cars, or make something. Um, there's plenty of shank here on this. Um, if I was to find another um, size adapter there to use that. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'll think on it for a little bit and uh, yeah, I'll see what I can come up with. probably ponder on that um, overnight and you know think about it figure out what I want to do and uh, I'll get back to you in the morning all right next day in the shop um, with this input shaft I have decided that I'm going to just try to make a flange I don't really want to modify this original input shaft because then if I was to convert back to the Honda power then I would have to find another one. So I have found some material that is um, the same thickness as the original input shaft flange. And I am going to try to recreate what we've got here. So I'm gonna go ahead, um, base it off of the same size hole that's already in this material. Um, we'll go ahead and trace it out, cut it off here, and then we'll measure for a center point and then I'll go ahead and score that in the center and we will uh, we will end up um, you know mating this flange welding this solid and then this will just be a slip fit to the transmission um, um, obviously I'm gonna have to be pretty precise being that this is gonna spin so fast um, I'm gonna try to make it as balanced as possible um, there is some play in the connection in the uh, tractor um, input so that will be you know a variable there but I think if I measure enough and I um, use as little material as needed um, that will you know prevent some unneeded weight and imbalance issues so I'll go ahead, get this piece cut out, drill another hole, and um, yeah, we'll see if the new flange fits first before we weld anything, and then uh, go from there. day to here at the shop a cold day um, but we're gonna get a little bit of work done here um, first I went ahead and pulled this apart um, it's got new grease in it um, I just went ahead and freshened up all the clips and stuff so if you remember we've got our center marked and I went ahead and surfaced this edge and then I cleaned up all around, so it should be good to weld. So what we're gonna do first um, is we'll just center this all up here, um, like it's supposed to be, somewhere about there, if you guys can see it. 
and I'll go ahead and tack in a few spots and then I'll clean everywhere around there and we'll lay a nice good bead on and that should be pretty centered um, you know I won't really know until I run it I got it as even as I could and I think we have a nice pool there so okay we've got it in there I had to I had to taper the hole in the flange because this stud is tapered well it's a bolt but it's like a stud it's like a uh, press fit basically so I tapered that and so now I just gotta Zip this on here, and then we got to make sure we have clearance. So this is the, you guys probably can't see it, but this is the tall side. Might be able to move the flashlight. And you can see there's a cutout here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So there's a cutout there. So we clear there, and then that's the same all the way around. Hopefully you can see it, because otherwise I'll just cut this part of the video. <laughs> so we have clearance, that's cool. Um, so what we got to do is bring the transmission in, slip fit it onto here, and you know see where it sits, and then figure out a mounting location. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the reservoir and pump setup out just to give me more room and hopefully that'll give me um, an easier time getting the trans back in there and then mocking up where it needs to mount. So I'll go ahead and get all that out and uh, yeah, then start fitting the trans. more room for activities in there so um, I think what I'll do I'm gonna pull this coupler off we're gonna bolt it to the Ford trans and then we'll bolt everything up in here um, the trans will just hang and we'll try to get it centered and um, honestly I think the the best thing would be to have a plate here but it can't be super thick. So, you know, we'll see, maybe we can get something off the top holes or the back, but once it's sitting up here, we'll be able to get a good idea of where it's gonna go. So we will, uh, yeah, get this couple together and see what we're working with.
so it's leaning a little bit it's not perfectly straight but you can see um you know we have plenty of room up top there to figure some sort of mount out and um you know we'll figure some sort of case mount and then underneath you can see where it's all coupled together there so it's looking pretty good like it is um, now I just got to do some thinking on it, um, probably overnight, and we'll see what I can come up with. So that's where we're at, and we'll just keep moving. All right, so um, I've got two brackets. If you can see on the right and left there, vertical, and they go with the bolts into the case. And I think the plan, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but the plan is basically to add a flat piece out this direction and then bolt vertically through each side and that will um, tie all that together and basically the plan is to um, pick the transmission up where we want it tack those in place and we also need to have the engine in place as well we need to have um, the engine in attached to the transmission and make sure that everything's lined up and then the output is where it needs to be. And then we can solidify everything. So the next step for me is going to be get the engine in the frame connected to the trans. So yeah, that'll be some work, but that's what we gotta do to keep moving forward. So that's what we'll do. Okay, first view of the flathead in the formal. Um, it sits pretty good where it is. I like the location. Um, I think it'll be easy for me to make um, some kind of uh, sheet metal cover there. Um, I will have to move the filter probably to the other side maybe or over here to the frame rail. I'm not sure. Um, that's because we have the water out port that has to go to the lower so um we'll have to relocate that the top shouldn't be a problem it's pretty much uh in line here pretty much in line we'll just have to figure out a hose so yeah fits really good um then of course we'll have to fab some sort of mount i'm not sure if i'll just make a plate off of here or what but I think I will uh, probably use rubber bushings. It's solid mounted to the front cover, so it concerns me if I leave this rigid mounted here. Um, I'll try rubber, and if it gives me too much of an issue, then we'll uh, solid mount it. But I'll also do some research on what it uh, is supposed to have. So looks pretty good like that. Um, Everything fits in there nice, so now I can um, jack up the rear, center it, and um, weld on the plates, and then we'll make the mounting for the front. And then after that, we've got to figure out the shifter, so we'll get this thing mounted um, as a permanent location, and uh, yeah, just keep making progress. And also, I um, was doing some research today, and it looks like factory, these were 30 horsepower. Um, so it should be plenty, especially since we're using the transmission in front of the Farmall transmission. We're tripling the power we had with the Farmall, basically. So stock, 30 horsepower. We can upgrade it later, but for this setup, um, we'll get it running, tune it, and make sure everything runs good before we do any modifications. So... Yeah, let's get after it. Okay, 
So we've got our brackets tacked here, um, symmetrical on both sides. And then the top of this is slotted. So if we do have to move in or out for any reason, we can at least a little bit. So I'm gonna get these brackets um, taken off. We'll put them on the bench and weld them and then they'll be in here permanently. There's our welded brackets, let them cool off, put them back on, and then we'll start on the front. And for the front, uh, maybe it's better over here. For the front, here's the stock tractor mount location. And it would be cool to be able to use these brackets, um, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I could always just you know, use the stock hole locations and build something off of that. But it would be neat to be able to have something come up off the factory mount, but I suppose that's not a big deal. I'll think on it and figure something out. Okay, here is our mounts. They are secure. Well, everything is lined up. Um, nothing's tight, tight because we are going to lower the front a little bit. So. Um, but that's basically where everything sits. Um, <clears throat> see, it can still pivot when we set the front, and then we can lock it down, but it can't twist, so that'll be good. Yeah. On the front, I think I got that figured out, so I'll show you that here in, in a second. Um, I went ahead and put a bend in this mount. Um, so now I'll set it down on the frame. We'll get it centered up. And then I'm going to drill through. Um, yeah, straight through the top of the frame. And then I think what I'll end up doing is um, I'm going to, well, I want to level this engine out. I don't know if you can tell in here, but it's, a little bit elevated more than the uh, frame itself and so I think if I hang these up underneath then um, that'll be the angle that I want and then also the plan for that will be um, if I'm hanging it then I can put a bushing on the bottom of the bolt and the top of the bolt and cinch it and that way you know there's some cushion there um, but it's still solid so that'll be the plan we'll get it set down on the frame and then we'll drill through pull the bracket off lower everything down bracket back on bolts and that'll be solid So I ended up just doing the top mount because the bottom was too low. I wasn't happy with it. So we'll stick with this angle. It'll be just fine. So yeah, everything's mounted solid in there. That's the position it's going to be in. So now the last final things are going to be um, obviously battery box because there's not one. We'll probably just build one. Um, and then we'll have to run the cables and then... Um, we have to, you know, make a mount for the coil, things like that. The main thing is transmission, how we're going to shift it. My one idea right now is making something that, um, since we're not using a starter, I want to make something that comes out of here and then is adapted up because I want to be able to shift it from the seat. So that's going to be on the drawing board, but yeah, a lot lot of progress this week um 
put a lot of time into this. So I'm glad where it's at. We're really close to um, having it run in the chassis. Um, you know, everything's solid mounted now. Everything's bolted up. So now just do the wiring, things like that, and we'll be pretty close. So super happy where we're at. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy what is going on here. Um, leave some comments for me, how you think it's going to work, anything that you think may help. And uh, yeah, all that's appreciated. I'll make sure I reply on those comments. So all of the new members, um, thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're new watching here, this is a little bit of what I do. There's more uh, videos on the channel. Feel free to check those out. I'm always happy to, happy to have you view the videos. So I'll keep at this. Um, we'll do obviously weekly, weekly uploads and uh, maybe we'll do some teasers halfway through the week at what progress we're making. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, thanks again, everybody watching. Remember to subscribe for me, helps me out a lot, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.